Hi, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the new TXNR616. It's the first one in the new range that sports the THX Select 2 Plus certification, designed for smaller rooms. Also fitted onto the front we have an HDMI input that supports MHL, that's Mobile High Definition Link. And we've also added Zone 2 and Zone 3 output on the 616, so you could run audio to two other rooms with independent source and independent volume. So now let's take a look and see what we've actually got on the back of the 616. Because the 616 has two USB inputs, one on the front, one on the back, it does make it easier for connectivity. Either of the ports will actually support USB sticks and drives, or alternatively, the wireless dongle, UFW1. Right, let's get on with talking through the inputs. We've got two optical and two coaxial digital inputs. These are all assignable to any of the inputs on the front panel. We also have the RI connection. We have one component input, which is assignable to any of the labelled inputs on the front with a component video out. But you don't necessarily need to use that because of the upscaling to HDMI. There's also the Ethernet port and as previously mentioned the USB. 616 has seven HDMIs on the back and one on the front. There's also two HDMI outputs on the back, main and sub. The main HDMI out does support audio return channel. Also fitted is an AM and FM tuner, and this is built into the 616. Next up are the analog connections. We've got composite video and analog left and right. Just to note, if you want to use the zone two and the zone three, you will have to connect your source devices digitally for the main room and analog for zone 2 and zone 3. The PC and TV inputs don't actually have a video assigned to them. The TV input also communicates with the audio return channel if you're using it when connected to a supported display. On the speaker terminals you will actually have to make a choice between surround back or front high but then you can also connect the surrounds front left and right and centre and as you'll notice they're all proper binding posts. If you want to use 4mm banana plugs that's no problem all you need to do is remove the black inserts as I'm doing here using a self tapping screw and that's it job done you can now actually use your banana plugs. And lastly we have the zone 2 and zone 3 connections. Zone 2 can actually be assigned inside the machine to allow you to use the amplifiers for speaker terminals or alternatively you can actually have pre-outs for zone 2 and zone 3 and actually a subwoofer pre-out for one of the zones. Well that's all from me and the 616. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.